it's KK. To this update, I need to tell you guys to go check out my first one that's linked right here. This will help you transition into the second one. And whoa, it's been so long since I've talked to you guys about the metal in my mouth. A lot has happened. It's been, I think, over three months. I've them in December, so I've had them for about 10 or 11 months almost. First thing that I wanted to talk about was these. I might have talked about these in my last video. I feel like I briefly mentioned them but didn't show them to you. These are threaders, and this is how you floss when you have braces. Just a big holy loop and then a straight little line. And what you do is the thread goes in through here. I didn't bring any thread but the thread goes in through here and then you put this between the little wires and you pull it through and once you get it through then you can floss and these are very very useful. I went to the orthodontist just a few days after I filmed that last video and I got a power chain which is this thing on the bottom of my teeth right now. I can zoom in and show you real quick but it's kind of gross but I'm just gonna go ahead and show you anyway. It's right here thing does is it gets your teeth as close as they will go like it gets them like this to fill in all of the gaps that you have right now I'm pretty sure mine only goes from my eye teeth in the thing that they gave me are these rubber bands I wear seed lion ones you will wear different kinds there's like a lot of different kinds there's what these do is they help fix underbites and crossbites and I mentioned this in my last video I think I remember mentioning it but it just they go from right here at the back to like right here and you have little hooks where they go you won't have to figure all that out by yourself the dentist will show you and the dentist will make sure that you put them in correctly it will probably make your teeth really really sore for almost like a week it did mine they say to wear them all the time except when you're eating or brushing your teeth and they say to change them three times a day they have colored ones and then they have clear ones they aren't really clear but they kind of look clear i've worn, been wearing my rubber bands for probably three months and i'm completely used to them you get used to them but do wear them whenever the dentist tells you to like if they say wear them all day and when you're asleep then do that and it might aggravate the heck out of you for a week or two weeks or three weeks but eventually you will get used to it and if you will do that then you will get them off in a much much shorter time than other people like i I know friends that have had their braces for three or four years because they will not wear their rubber bands when they are supposed to and that definitely prolongs your braces a lot lot more and I'm trying to get mine off so I wear them whenever I'm supposed to. The reason I got braces in the first place was to fix one tooth at the back near the bottom. It's basically tilted and they haven't done anything to fix that one yet. I don't know why but clearly we aren't in that stage yet or at least that's what they tell me. So go to the braces place to get something fixed and they don't fix it right away. I wouldn't be very apprehensive with it but clearly you need to make sure that you get whatever the main issue was fixed. The thing that happened to me that I was seriously so freaked out about is at the very very back the tooth that has the hook on it that I put my ban on one time I went to put my rubber band on and something went and I freaked out. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what just happened? And then it started moving. So the next day I called the orthodontist people and I went in and put a new bracket on it and it's all okay. If that happens, don't freak out. Just call the orthodontist. Tell them that you need to get something looked at, get it looked at and get it fixed as soon as you can. The orthodontist that put my bracket back on, he was like, I know you've been wearing your rubber bands because that's the only thing that was keeping like the bracket in my mouth. And then he like went to push it out and the bracket literally fell in my mouth and I was like, oh. I've noticed a lot of change in my teeth since I first got them I've noticed like up here my teeth have pushed out more in an angle I had when I was little I used to have a gap right here in my top teeth now I have that again my teeth as far like out as they want them they'll probably put one of those power chains on there and it will go together again this whole dealie you guys know what this means yeah you know you need to do it and you need to do that too and thank you so much for watching i love you Mwah. i'll see you next week you say can you see hi guys it's kk and i'm back with hopefully some 